yes good morning how are you how are you fine okay do you know me oh yes i am your test teacher my name is sakina now we are going to discuss about the second chapter of social science are you ready okay the chapter name is from pride to power you have already understood the previous chapter about the conquest of constantinople by the turks in the year of 1453 isn't it this came in the way of the trade between asia and europe the situation necessitated the european traders to find out a new sea route to india why did europeans come to india oh yes the europeans came to india for the purpose of trade especially to collect the spices do you know spices look the picture what are the important spices in our country tell me oh yes pepper cinnamon cardamom ginger turmeric etc it was very essential to the foreigners okay pepper is also known as evanapriya and black hole evanapriya means greek dies evana means greek priya means dear okay pepper is also known as black hole why pepper was used by the europeans for many purposes firstly to give taste to food second one is to preserve meat for a long time the third one is as medicine for fever okay who are the europeans came to india for trade oh very good first one is the portuguese second one is the dutch and the third one is the english and the fourth one is the french isn't it okay now we are going to discuss about the first area the portugal do you know vasco da gama oh yes look the picture vasco da gama was the first portuguese sailor reached to india gama and his followers reached the cape of the calicut in the month of may 20 in 1498 okay the language and the dress code was very attractive and quite different from native people okay the zamori the ruler of calicut or kolikot did not provide trading facilities to vasco da gama then gama left for kanno and gathered necessary goods and then returned to portugal okay but gama got a lot of profit which was 60 times greater than the cost of the voyage francisco de almeida and alfonso de albuquerque who were another european sailors reached to india by following vasco da gama goa damen dio were the major trade center of the portuguese they constructed two forts in kerala the first one is saint angelo fort and another one is kottapuram fort saint angelo fort is situated at kannur and kottapuram fort situated in thrissur okay do you like fruits they introduced many agricultural crops in kerala like pineapple papaya cashew red chilli tobacco etc okay the portuguese were also known as parangis because they brought cashew or parangi manga to kerala for the first time printing machine and art form like chagatu nadagam were some impact of indo portuguese relationship have you seen chagatu nadagam Okay. ിതംയിലാഗീത <laughs> Like Mesha, 
മസേര വരാന്ത ചെരുപ്പ് ആശുപത്രി പിഞ്ഞാണം എക്സെട്രാ വെറുത കോൺട്രിബ്യൂഷൻ ഓഫ് ദി പോർച്ചുഗീസ് ദി പോർച്ചുഗീസ് പ്രൊപ്പഗേറ്റ് ക്രിസ്ത്യാനിറ്റി ഇൻ ഇന്ത്യ ദി അഡ്മിറൽ ഓഫ് ദി സാമുവിൻ നേവൽ ഫോഴ്സ് ഹൂ റെസിസ്റ്റൻസ് എഗെയിൻസ്റ്റ് ദി പോർച്ചുഗീസ് ഇൻ ദി മലബാർ റീജിയൻ The Kunhali Maraka or Kunyali Maraka was the title given to the Muslim naval chief of the Zamorin, the Hindu king of Calicut in the present day state of Kerala during the 16th century. There were four major Kunhalis who played an important role in the Zamorin's naval wars with the Portuguese from 1502 to 1600. Of the four Marakas, Kunyali Maraka II is the most famous. The present-day Kunyali Maraka Museum at Vadagara was the house of the Marakas and was gifted to the Archaeology Department, Government of Kerala, in 1976 by a person named Pathuma who happens to belong to the 10th generation of the Marakas. In the museum, artifacts in the form of coins, the weaponry, used by the marakas etc are all displayed located close by is a mosque known as the kunyali maraka masjid which has a throne and sword seized from the portuguese ships by the marakas history has it that marakas were originally muslim marine merchants of kochi who left for panani in the zamorin's dominion when the portuguese fleets came to kingdom of cochin they offered the men ships and wealth against the portuguese to the zamorin of calicut the king took them into his service and eventually they became the admirals of his fleet another version suggests that they were merchants of cairo egypt who settled in kori code and joined the zamudri's navy sensing that the portuguese were trying to destabilize his rule by dubious and divisive methods the zamorin appointed kunyali maraka to the task of improving his navy the marakas by the valor and strategies fought the portuguese hard and strong and successfully kept them at bay towards the end however the devious methods of the portuguese won they convinced the zamorin in 1598 that maraka 4 intended to take over his kingdom the zamorin then joined hands with the portuguese to defeat maraka 4 ending in his defeat and death in 1600 known for the valor strategy and commitment to the cause the marakas are credited with organizing the first naval defense along the indian sea coast the portuguese would not establish many trade center in india while they did not have enough economic and military resources to compete with other european powers they faced the resistance from native forces let us cover our class today what we learned firstly the arrival of the europeans to india the portuguese the dutch the english and the french then the major trade center of the portuguese goa dhaman rio then they are two fort saint angelo fort and the kottapuram fort and then they introduced the agricultural crops like papaya pineapple tobacco red chili etc then they uh, introduced the their printing machine and the chabatu nadagam etc okay I hope you all understood my class. We will see you again in the next class. Okay, bye.